After a caucus meeting that lasted about seven hours, Conservative leader Andrew Scheer emerged, his job safe for now. Well, we won more seats, won the most votes, and elected the largest off official opposition in Canadian history, much more was expected. And nobody is more disappointed in the results than me. And nobody is more eager to get it right the next time. MPs declined to give themselves the power to remove him. I will say I support Andrew Scheer. Uh, we, need, we need to ensure that now is not the time for a leadership race. A source inside the room says the vote wasn't even close, but that Scheer acknowledged mistakes and that everything will now be scrutinized, including the jobs of top staffers. We had a very frank discussion about the importance of making sure that our message gets out clearly, our message of inclusion, our message of respect for all Canadians, regardless of their race, religion and sexual orientation. Behind the scenes, they say there's still work to be done on issues like same-sex marriage and climate change. During the campaign at the doors, uh, a lot of my constituents expressed concern about the leader. They continue to express concern in communication with my office, and so I'm glad to see that he said he's going to go do a listening tour across the country, and we'll see what happens. What they want? That task will be up to prominent former Conservative Cabinet Minister John Baird. A Conservative source said that made MPs more confident. In the end, Shear's leadership will be decided by thousands of members when the party holds a leadership review in April. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.